15 seconds are. So any video which is uh, ranging from 7 seconds to 15 seconds can be covered in this. So coming to the difference, it would be majorly a difference kind of a setup. So what we have already covered and what is the difference here? So it has the same category that can be excluded that has been done at the advertiser level. Inventory, you want ad placements to be on YouTube, Google TV or third party websites where uh, video players are there. So those are YouTube partners. In terms of targeting, keyword exclusion is there language selection is there we can select english or whatever language the users are interacting on internet then category exclusion is already there inventory sources it is already here so geo current make it to united states okay date and time so this is basically the day parting that you do or scheduling the campaign so if you want to from 12 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. or any different based on different dates, you can schedule your ad Monday to Friday. If you want to have a different time, Saturday, Sunday, you have a different time or maybe multiple time slot on a single day. Say it would be just 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Then again on Monday, you are planning to start at 5 a.m. Then it again goes to 6 a.m. So it can be based on what kind of target and, and what hours you want to run your at. Then comes the device. So device we have covered in the other aspect. So that is same computer, smartphone, tablet, connected TVs. And here are the device specification. If you want to do any kind of bid adjustment based on devices, that can be done. Here are the device selections and the model sections for the devices if you want to make it very niche specific. So this can be a scenario where uh, you are doing a campaign for uh, iPhone 15 mobile covers or iPhone 16 mobile covers. So you can specifically target those models and then the marketing. So that can be a useful scenario or some kind of app download campaigns where you want to target specifically those iOS or Android users for those the app is being done or any version of Android that, that supports it or any mobile that supports it. So that can be one of the scenarios or any insurance campaign. If you do mobile insurance and that is just for say Androids or a particular brand in Android or latest phones so that you can do or just iPhone models that would be possible. Dates, date. These are the flight dates for the line item. What is the pacing, daily pacing, when what budget you are adjusting? That would be based on the media plan that you have. Frequency cap, we usually keep it to five per week. That can be, again, very based on what kind of targeting you apply and what is the media plan says. If it is e-commerce, then merchant center feed can be enabled so that merchant center ads are shown. And same for the conversion tracking, if you want to add Pixel, that is basically the floodlight um, add to cart conversion page or lead form view or lead form submission. So that can be done to optimize your campaign. Then here comes the additional, if you want to add third party, maybe double verify is there or IES tracker is there. So these are for those. And then comes the ad group. So while creating ad group, the format that is available would be non skip only. So We'll enter the name as test targeting. So in the ad group, you can put all kind of targeting like keyword, uh, placements, category so that we have already covered in other videos. So what are keyword targeting, what are placement targeting? So those can be selected or excluded here. And uh, any kind of demographics, male, female targeting or age, parenthood or any other targeting like income can be done here. And here comes the audience. Letter. If you have first party, your pixel is implemented and you have a good data on your pixel. You can do a first party audience targeting with a multiple combination of or uh, Google audiences or combine a particular audience, create a combined list so that you can do here. The audience bit is completely based on what you have in the campaign. So, audience is a separate bit 
So CPM based on what area, what kind of targeting you're doing on the campaign, that would be the CPM. So if you are targeting a CPM of $10, that should be fine. Now, after the ad group, here comes the create ad. And these are the ad previews that you have. So let's keep the preview ad at test. Any video. You can see the preview on right. Stop now. Add a landing page. Any CM ID if your CM account is linked and you are doing tracking for it, and then the click tracker URL. So here is the preview available for YouTube. This is partner website where ad would be shown which is not available in this case and that's it you can save it you can have multiple ads to serve here so there can be multiple videos out there that's it so this is the basic difference when we talk about non-skippable 15 seconder